right, so it's a late night here in Rhode Island as I am doing this video about 1 o'clock in the morning, and I never do a video this late. I don't because I was watching something exciting tonight. No, it wasn't this game. It was AEW Dynamite. Late night wrestling. Yeah. Something that excites me more than this team. But I'm going to tell you this right now. This team, what else is new? They lose another baseball game because that's what this team does best. They lose baseball games. And you wonder why, you fucking geeks, you fucking morons out there that say, Oh, this guy is a fake fan because he said a few weeks ago that this team doesn't excite him anymore. I'm still keeping that. I'm still keeping that. It's the same fucking shit. Every time I watch this fucking team, two fucking runs. That's what they did tonight. They scored two freaking runs. Aaron Judge, solo home run. And then Giovanni Yashella scores on a defensive miscue. That's it. And you wonder why this team cannot win games when they give up five or more runs. You know they're the only team in baseball that has failed to accomplish that this season. And let me tell you something else. They hit into their 54th double play this season. You know who they're tied with? The Houston Astros. And this is what I was just thinking about. Um, before I came on here tonight to do this video. Why is Aaron Boone still the manager of this team? Can somebody tell me why Aaron Boone is still the fucking manager of this team? But yet, the guy came out with another fucking excuse of a quote. This is what he said. And you know what? I actually laughed when I read this. <laughs> Typically, the better teams are going to hit into double plays. You know you're going to be asking me that same question when we get it rolling here. Let me tell you all something right now. Something's got to change with this team. It's simple. It's simple fucking arithmetic. Hal Steinbrenner, you're fucking sitting in your fucking ass in fucking Florida. You don't fucking give a fuck about this team. You don't give a flying fuck about this team. I don't care if my fucking neighbors have to hear this at one in the fucking morning. You simply don't fucking care for this fucking team. What you saw tonight, Yankee fans, it's a fucking disgrace with what this fucking organization has been. You had fucking a sold-out fucking crowd booing this team. Something's got to change. Something has got to fucking change. Unfucking real, man. Unfucking real. And you know what? I'm going to play the quote that your father did on 60 Minutes a long time ago. But let me get back into this fucking Aaron Boone fucking story, man. Because you're saying that the better teams hit into double plays. The more fucking double plays. Are you fucking stupid, man? Are you fucking stupid? Like fucking some of these fucking managers that 
manage some of my favorite teams are, I don't want to fucking say the R word. Because I'm this fucking close to saying the fucking R word. Double plays. The more double plays means that it's going to be turned sooner rather than later. You know what, man? Let me tell you something. I'd rather fucking go to the fucking convenience store right over here. I would get a fucking girl with fucking big ass motherfucking titties, a nice fucking ass, and maybe I could take her home to fucking bang me instead of fucking me doing this video saying fuck this, fuck that, motherfucker. Because why do I want to watch this fucking team? Aaron Boone, it's a fucking excuse. What are you trying to say? That this team hits the ball hard when you have fucking runners on base? When you even have fucking runners and fucking scoring position? You know what? This is why this fucking fan base, myself included, want you fucking out of New York. You and that fucking dumbass general manager and Brian Cashman. <coughs> Say something else. Say that the Yankees, they can't get a break right now. They're just getting fucking unlucky. Don't say that the best teams in Major League Baseball... They ground into double plays. Because you know what? Let me tell you something, dude. You're a fucking goddamn joke. You are a fucking goddamn joke. Unfucking real man. Why do I have to fucking go on a rant? And I'm gonna give you fucking examples of teams. That I've grounded into double plays. Because the Tampa Bay Rays. You know what they are? You know what they did to us? They're like fucking Thanos. The Tampa Bay Rays. They're tied for the second fewest. And grounded into double plays. In Major League Baseball. The Boston Red Sox mind you. They're at 37. The Los Angeles Dodgers, right now, your reigning and defending World Series champions are at 36. Chicago White Sox, mind you, a team that we fucking swept at the stadium? 38. The Chicago Cubs, a shout out to uh, my uh, coach on Future Fit because she is a Chicago Cubs fan. The Chicago Cubs... They've only hit 37 double plays this year. And you know what's so freaking... What all of these teams have in common? Mind you. The Dodgers, the White Sox, and the Cubs. They're leading their divisions. Fuck me. The Chicago Cubs. A team that nobody had in first place around this time is leading the fucking American... The National League Central. I had to look up the facts tonight, man. And I understand he doesn't have any say over this lineup, but when you have decisions on who is going to pitch and hit on a daily basis, that's out of your hands. You can't kill him for those decisions in baseball today. But what you fucking said, dude, is a fucking joke, man. You're supposed to be the leader of that clubhouse. You're supposed to defend your fucking players. 
in front of a fucking media that is fucking pressuring you right now. And all you come out is this fucking stupid ass quote. And you're hoping that tomorrow uh, it's going to be a fucking miracle. Like fucking Jesus Christ is going to fucking come down and help the New York Yankees win a game tomorrow. Fundamentals and being played disciplined. That's what you should be telling your players. Oh, yeah, not to mention, too, fucking, you guys, your offense fucking sucks. Not just your hitting, your fucking, my fucking Lord, man. You got the worst base running in Major League Baseball. This team has no fucking fundamentals whatsoever. And you accept that as a good thing? Dude. You know what, man? You can fucking suck my fucking dick. You can fucking drink my piss. And fucking eat my motherfucking ass crack, dude. Do I think they're going to fire him? No. Because... Why would Hal Steinbrenner and Brian Cashman want to fire this guy? They don't want to fire him now. You know what they're going to do? I'm going to tell you something right now, people. They are going to fucking put this guy as a fucking scapegoat. I'm telling you all right now. I can fucking read into the motherfucking future. They're going to fucking put this motherfucker as a fucking scapegoat. But man, and you wonder, you know what people? If I were fucking you people that live in the fucking New York, Bronx area, man. Manhattan, if you're fucking Yankee fans in fucking Brooklyn. I wouldn't even fucking pay to go see this fucking team. Why? Why? Why would you want to fucking pay to fucking see a team that is playing like fucking garbage? Why? I was actually supposed to go to a Yankee game this year. But I'm not fucking going. Why would I fucking spend my fucking hard-earned fucking money to go watch a fucking garbage-ass fucking team? Why? What's going to fucking change with this fucking team? You know... Oh, what's Brian Cashman going to fucking do? Oh, I heard... Chris Gittins is going to get called up tomorrow. Dude, you should have fucking called up Chris Gittins a few days ago. But no, you had to fucking call up another fucking... Garbage ass fucking relief pitcher. Because that's what all this fucking team does. They all fucking care about the fucking pitcher. They don't fucking care about the hidden. Rudin Ordos fucking trash. Oh yeah, that was one of your moves that you did this season. Rudin Ordor. Rudin Ordor, man, get the fuck out of New York, man. Gary Sanchez, too. You fucking fat-ass fucking Dominican. Get the fuck out of New York. Fucking four fucking strikeouts tonight, man. I'm fucking real, man. I'm fucking real. And you wonder why I have fucking people all up on my ass, dude? Isn't that funny? I don't really care whether they like me. I like them to respect me, and sometimes that doesn't happen. What I try to do is instill a sense of discipline in my players, a mental toughness and a discipline. Uh, I don't want players going out there and being treated like heroes if they don't act like heroes. George Steinbrenner has been a self-styled general pattern of baseball, a man who over the years has demanded perfection from his players. 
when you put the pinstripes on, you're not just putting a baseball uniform on. You're wearing tradition and you're wearing pride. Exactly. And you're going to wear it the right way. These fellows have it pretty good. They don't have to do a lot of thinking during their baseball career because we have the bus there at the hotel. They're pre-checked in. They get on the bus. They go to the ballpark. They play their game. The bus is waiting. They come back. I try to tell them that you've got to get prepared for life because there's going to come a day soon when that doesn't happen. Are you a graceful loser? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm like a Yankee fan. My foot has gone through a number of television sets in my time. Uh, I bleed like those guys out there. And you wonder the why I fucking go I mean, on this. They hate to see you lose, and, and I hate to lose. Same here. Uh, you take it personally? Yes. Yes, I, I mean, do. What, what does it say about George Steinbrenner when the Yankees lose? It says he's one of the worst losers in the world. <laughs> you show me a good loser, and I'll show you a loser. <laughs> See? That's what you should be doing, Hal Steinbrenner. That's what you should be fucking doing right there, man. The same fucking philosophy that your fucking father put to this fucking organization. And you know what? You don't fucking do it. Because what do you want fucking do? You fucking sit in your fucking mansion all day not caring about this team. You, all ca you care about the fucking dollar dollar bills. That's what you fucking care about. The fucking dollar dollar bills. You're fucking one of the most cheapest fucking managers. Or I can say the fucking owners, I should say. Not managers, but fucking owners. It's fucking baseball, dude. Your fucking father bled for this fucking franchise. Your father put his heart, his blood, his soul, his sweat, his tears to this fucking franchise. And what are you doing? You're fucking trashing your fucking father's legacy, dude. That's what you're fucking doing. Subscribe. I'm out.